Hello, hello, hello. We're going to be continuing working on Rule 13 today. Um, I know that we've been doing this the past few days, and I know that Rule 13 is a little tricky. So we're going to do a quick review. What is Rule 13? Rule 13 says, possessive nouns always need an apostrophe. No matter what, if you've got a noun and it owns something, always put that apostrophe. But if we're talking about possessive pronouns, uh-uh. No apostrophe. If I see apostrophes on any of your pronouns, no, 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 no. X, X, X. So today I need you to have a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, you need to write down this little chart that I'm about to show you because it's going to be super helpful on the practice questions that we're about to do. And it's also going to be super helpful on the Google form that you're going to complete today. So this is basically what it is. We've already seen this last week. All it says is that singular nouns, if you if it owns something, if it's showing possession, you're always going to have apostrophe S. Yes. The plural nouns, does your plural noun end in an S? If it does, you only have the apostrophe. If it ends in any other letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, O, P, anything other than S, then you have the apostrophe S. Yes. So this is my note. I know this is very large. It's on a whiteboard. But this is what I have. I basically... All I have is singular, underneath singular, I always add apostrophe S. Plural, I have, does it end in S? Only the apostrophe. And in any other letter, apostrophe S. So pause right here. I want you to copy this down onto a piece of paper that you can use today. And if you're back, glad to see you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So. The first one is blank pasture. And what I'm putting in that blank is something to do with a cow. And in parentheses, I see more than one cow. So my first question is, how do we write more than one cow? Well, that's cows. You just add the S at the end. This is the same thing that we did. Uh, it was probably about two weeks ago that we were working on plurals. So take all that knowledge that you remember. How do you make the plural form of cows or cow? You add that S. And now I just told you the answer to this one. Is cows plural or singular? Well, we know it's more than one, so that has to be plural. Now, the last question is, how do we make plural nouns that end in S possessive? Now, you're going to go back to your little chart that you just drew, and you're going to go on the plural side. And in S, that means you only add an apostrophe. So it should look like cows, pasture, you see all of cows, C-O-W-S, add that apostrophe. That's because the word cows, in its plural form, it ends in S. Now, does cow, the singular form, that does not end in S. So that's um, when you would use the opposite side of your chart where it talks about singular. But since the plural form of cows ends in S, we do just the apostrophe. Let's see if you can get this one. The blank toy. And in parentheses, I have only one cat. So only talking about one cat, this one cat owns this toy. So first question is, how do we write only one cat? Well, that's pretty easy. Just cat, right? Is cat plural or singular? Well, I know there's only one, so that means it is singular. Now the question is, how do we make singular nouns possessive? Now remember, if it's a singular noun, it's always this step no matter what it ends in. All the letters, it always ends in the same way. Look at your chart. And if you said apostrophe S, then you would be correct. It's C-A-T apostrophe S. And that's because it's singular and singular nouns always end in apostrophe S. So this one is the blank eggs, more than one goose. So there's more than one goose and it's all of their eggs. They own these eggs, these are their eggs. So how do we write more than one goose? Well, that is geese. That's one of those irregular uh, plural nouns that we talked about. So geese means more than one. Is geese plural or singular? Da -da -da, it's plural. Now the last question might be tricky. How do we make plural nouns that do not end in S possessive? Well, I'm gonna go to my chart. I'm gonna go down to plural. It does not end in S, so if it ends in any other letter, you add apostrophe S. So this says the geese's eggs, apostrophe S at the very end down here. Um, and that's because it is the plural form, but we're not going to put 
um, S apostrophe because geese is like that. That's not how you spell the plural form of geese or of goose. It's one goose. More than one is geese. So those can be tricky. You need to remember that. If you need to go back and look at those irregular or irregular plural nouns uh, videos, then go back and definitely check that out. All right, here we go. Another irregular plural noun. The blank cheese. Mm, that's more than one mouse. Let's think. How do we write more than one mouse? If you said mice, that would be correct. So next question is, is mice plural or singular? Which, which side of our chart are we working on? It would be the plural side. So I'm on the right side. Oh, it's the right side of my chart. And I'm going to, going to see, well, what does mice end in? It ends in E. So I don't need to look at the one that says end in S. No. I need to look at the one that says an end in any other letter. What do we do when a possessive plural noun ends in any other letter? We add apostrophe s. So it says the mice's cheese. And that means there's more than one mouse. There's multiple mice. And it's their collective cheese. They all own this cheese. It's their possession. So here's this one. Let's see if I can if I can trick you. The blank flowers. More than one bush. So in that blank, it's something to do with bush. And there's more than one. So how do we write more than one bush? If you said bushes with an ES at the end, you would be correct. So is bushes plural or singular? It is plural because we have more than one. We already see that up here. So that should be a fairly easy answer. And the next one is how do we make plural nouns that end in S possessive? So I know bush by itself, it's singular form, it ends in H. But since we're working with more than one, we have the word bushes, and that ends in S. So how do we make plural nouns that end in S possessive? I'm going to go back and look at my chart because it's handy dandy, and it makes it a lot easier. Does it end in S? Yes, it does, which means you only add the apostrophe. So you're always, if it's plural, you're always going to write the plural form of that word. So I'm always going to write bushes if there's more than one bush. Then you decide where to put your apostrophe. All right. Great work today. I know this is a confusing topic. So if you have any questions or if you're still like Miss Kreitz, I this isn't making any sense. That's okay. Hop on that Google Meet because I want to help you. I have so many examples. I just don't have enough time to put it into these videos. So if you need any help, hop on that Google Meet and we will work on it together um, until you know exactly what's going on. So here's your Google form for today. As always, you're going to write first and last name. Then you're going to read the blank tails. And it looks just like what we did today. In parentheses, we have more than one dog. So you're going to choose which one of these spellings is the correct way to say that these molt, there's more than one dog, all of them own the tails. All right. So you're going to go through the same goes with the blank stinky breath. Nasty. There's only one dragon. So first you need to figure out how do I only, how do I write only one dragon? Then you're going to say, is that plural or singular? Then you're going to go to your chart, determine which way to spell it with your, uh, with your apostrophe. And then that's the answer you're going to click. If you have any questions, as always, hop on that Google Meet and I would love to help you. Otherwise, good luck.